Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Jay Shanice here. I am here with another video for you guys. I know it's been forever since I put a video out. I'm sorry. Work has been kicking my butt and I've just been a little lazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but today I have the eyebrow tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how I get my natural looking brow. I only use like a minimum of three products in this tutorial. They're very affordable. I'll make sure I list them in the bottom bar for you guys in case you want to see them um yeah so without further ado let's just get right into the video if you guys want to see how i get this then just keep watching bye all right so we're gonna have to zoom in here excuse me guys i'm like <sighs> trying to eat and record videos and the sun is not being nice to me how to find the time to think of what we had before Alright guys, so enough of that. I'm going to be using the Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade. It also comes like with a little angle brush and spoolie brush. It's in the color Deep Brown. And I got this from CVS. I believe it was about $4. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Medium Beige. And after that, I'm just going to get some um, brow mascara I got from Maybelline. Um, I believe I also got this from CVS. This whole brow, I got it under $20. So make sure you check those stores out, girls. So now I'm just spooling my brow to see which angle and like what way I want my brow to go. I usually just use my regular outline um, and then I'll just go underneath it and basically just draw my brow. I usually start towards the end so I can see which shape like the, the outer the outer brow will look like or the outer wing of my brow will look like to make sure I get it in the, the direction I want it to go in. So I'm just drawing the outline to my brow right now. I don't dip my brush in any more pomade. I just usually dip it in one time and then that's all the product I'll use because I don't want my brow to be too dark. I still want it to be natural looking so, I, so less product makes it look more natural. And then I like to just basically give myself kind of an ombre effect with my um, dip brow. I like to make it lighter towards the front and then it'll have a little darker and deeper in the back. And then this is where you use your spoolie brush just to brush it out and blend it so you get that ombre light to dark effect. Alright, so on with the concealer. I'm going to also use another angle brush. I believe this brush is from BH Cosmetics, but you can use any angle brush will work. Just want to make sure it's really thin um, and that you want to make sure that the shorter end of the brush is facing outwards first. That gives you more control over the concealer and how to clean up your brows. This is my favorite part. <laughs> um, it just makes them look more sleek and clean and makes you go over your work. No lie guys, this was definitely a bad brow day for me. My brows do not come out the same every time. They're definitely not twins, only sisters. <laughs> I also take the excess concealer and I just basically drag it up and blend it out on my um, face. And 
and then I just go over and clean up whatever I don't like, make sure it's sleek. I like to use mascara um, in this instance because it makes some, it gives it a little more color and makes them look nice and put together and it also makes sure they won't, they won't move around. You can either use a mascara or there's also, they have like a clear eyebrow gel that you can use to make sure they don't, you know, go out of place. So this is what I like to use. And then you basically have it. That is how I get my natural looking brows for under $20. Very affordable girls. Make sure you check this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.